Hey, what is up guys? Trex here, and welcome to Star Wars Battlefront 2. This is the greatest first-person and third-person shooter of all time, and it's really one of the only ones that I ever like. But, if you don't know what this is, where have you been for the past 10 years? Have you, have you been living under a rock, or have you not been born? Everybody should know what this is. This game is phenomenal. This is the Star Wars uh, first-person shooter adaptation video game sort of thing and it's it's that game from my childhood that was worth going to my friend's house over just to play this there are times I haven't logged that many hours on Steam but when I was a kid I logged so many hours going to my friend's house and playing on their PlayStation 2 mm. this game brings back such good memories but yeah this is I think that most people have that sort of game that they go to their friend's house when they were a kid just to play and this was that game for me so I have some quite fond memories of this game like blowing myself up with 30 time bombs as Chewbacca or setting time bombs on snow speeders on Hoth and watching people fly away I was, I was a bit of a troll but yeah one thing about this game no iron sights just a zoom hello there a scroll droid and I'm not very good I'm not the best at it I'm not like Ooh, look at me, 360 no scope, blah. I, but I play it just to have fun. Fortunately, there's no like up close attack. Ooh, Ayla Secura. Nope, she's lame. Let's hide from that thing. But th this, the best thing to come out of the prequel Star Wars movies was this game because playing as the CIS and the spider droids and the super battle droids is just a blast. And Honestly, Episode 3 was a decent movie, but this is the best thing to come from those prequels. Oh, and I don't know if anybody would dispute that, because those those prequels are not that great. Boop. Goodbye. Heal me, heal me, heal me. Oh. So obviously one of the features of this, of this game is instantly switching from first person to third person. So just by the push of a button, you can switch into third person. This game plays equally... Dang it equally as well as a third person game and it might even be a bit more fun to play in third person I don't always but some people do and yeah it's just the overall experience of the game is perfect and if you aim down in third person you go over the shoulder sort of view and the camera isn't that weird uh, characters offset in the first third of the screen it, he's centered and that's very very nice Oh wow, I just noticed how badly we are losing. It is 14 to 50, so I just need to kind of stay alive as much as possible and run off in a corner and hide. You fooled me, Jabba. You fooled me. Somehow Jabba looks even uglier in this than he did in the movies. But that's perfectly fine. <sighs> Defeat. I was the last one left. And we're defeat. I'm gonna have to stop the recording because this game switches resolutions all the time and it generally doesn't go well, but let's look at our stats. We got 19 kills, 20 hero points, and 5 deaths. Anyways, next map. Alright guys, welcome to Death Star. This is possibly my favorite map besides Hoth for one reason. There is a certain hallway that if you try to assault it is one of the best battles in this game. It's just constant back and forth between the CIS and the Republic, or the Rebels and the Empire, and it is just glorious. It is that hallway right there is the one I'm talking about, and that makes the entire map just amazing. And I'll show you guys what I mean when we get there. Oh, dang it! Maybe I can make the jump this time. I ah, made it. Sweet. All right, we are here at the hallway. I was talking about we can play as Obi-Wan, but I just like playing as the regular Stormtrooper. And when the droids start spawning, they'll just it'll just be a constant back and forth battle through this hallway. Oh, oh there we go. They're hiding in the and then there's little ventilation shafts or something in the sides that make it so that you can either sneak up the hallway or hide from the droids. Most likely hide from the droids. Yeah. We are gaining some ground, but as you can see, they are always just coming in, and it's most of the most of, dang it, most of the battle you'll spend just fighting through this hallway if you're going for that approach, and that's why I love this map, it, it, just because of this hallway. 
duck. Boom. I'm out. Oh, we're so close to taking it, but look, droids are spawning back and they're taking it, they're killing our guys. Oh, we're getting driven back by the droids. This hallway is just glorious. Mmm. Mmm, look at that hallway. And look at that, the droids have made their way all the way back up to the front of the hallway. All of our progress has been negated. This map is just awesome. Kill that spider droid before he can even get out his shield. Roll to safety. Oh, missed. Want some candy? Well, that was a bit unnecessary, don't you think? Okay, I'd like to call hacks, because that seemed a bit too precise. Get out of my way, get out of my way, get out. Oh, we were defeated. How were we defeated? We were winning. We were Charlie Sheen winning. How are we defeated? 31 kills and 6 deaths. A bit better than the last one. Alright, welcome to XL Geonosis. If you don't know what the XL mode is, it was a PC only mode where it was just hundreds of players on the map. It wasn't 32 and 32, it was like 128 v 128 all at one time on the map. It just shows how powerful the PC is compared to consoles because honestly, PC is the master race. And MLG. Dang it. MLG. Dang it. Come on. Come on. Somebody die. Somebody die. Somebody die. I just want to be the. Oh. Alright, let's change things up a bit and swap teams to the Sis. And we should play as the Super Battle Droid with the awesome Wrist Blaster. This, the Super Battle Droid, honestly the best class for the CIS. But still, it, the, the entire CIS is great. And. As I said, best thing to come out of the original, or best thing to come out of the, uh, out of the prequels. I love the first person view on the Super Battle Droid because if we look at it, it's just like, oh, dang it, I died! Thanks a lot, I was trying to show off a feature, Mr. Clone. Anyways, as I was saying, if we look at the first person view, it's just like, what, what is that little stub arm? What is that? That's not like, uh, that doesn't even look like an arm, it's just like a stub. Why? And then I go back to playing third person because I don't like to look at that for too long. But it's still a funny feature. Come on, get Rex, Captain Rex! That's a Star Wars The Clone Wars TV show reference for the five episodes I watched of that. Ooh, we can now play as Christopher Lee. That's unfortunate. Anyways, Count Dooku is here. One of my favorite things to do on this map in particular is just get up here and just... Possibly, this could be considered spawn camping, if I can get in the right place. But, honestly, who cares? The AI isn't that great, and so you can you can just rack up loads of kills by standing... Oh, come on. Oh, the ATT is gone. Well, never mind, there goes all my spawn camping kill plan. And ground slam! Oh, completely missed. Come here, come here. There we go. He was trying to MLG hashtag 360 no scope some people, man. Oh, be overwhelmed with the powerful of Edison. Well, bye, Count Dooku. Thanks for abandoning us. You have to pay child support, you know. Who got the kill first? Oh, he lived. Come on. All right, I think it's time we break out the big guns and get the droidica. Let's go. Droidica is superior. Come, come on. Turn. Turn around. There we go. Okay. Droidica is superior. What was the roll button again? There we go. Now, Droidica is on the roll. We're, we're on a roll, guys, because we're, we're going to kill these people. Look at that. We're, look at that. We're killing people. We're on a roll. Ha, ha, ha. Let's go bowling for clones. Steve, right? Oh, come on. Get out of the way. Well, that was a bit unnecessary. I was already dead. I think Count Dooku would have been great if he was played by Sean Connery. Just imagine that. Sean Connery is Count Dooku. Now, tell me that wouldn't be great. Tell me. Tell me. There we go. There's the... Oh, we're dead. But anyways, you can get loads of kills by- And we're- We were defeated? Come on. But anyways, you can get loads of kills by being Count Dooku standing on top of the ATT and just 
whipping your lightsaber across the turret. It's pretty fun. We got 39 kills and 9 deaths. Not the best. Anyways, next map. Ah, uh, Hoth XL. Arguably the best map in the entire game. Pro it's my favorite. We've got to play as the Rebels because we have to have the Snow Speeders because Snow Speeders bring back memories of my childhood from, you know, being a complete troll and putting time bombs on him as a Wookiee and watching people fly off into the distance, unsuspecting that they were going to be meet their sudden demise in a few short minutes. Mmm, the memories. No, oh, I'm trying to get back to the battle, Mom. How? Jump quick scope. Oh, dang it. It's fire. Shoot the cranky old man because he's a cranky old man. And he's part of the Empire, but mostly because he's a cranky old man. Man, that snow trooper has really good camouflage as I cannot see him at all, and yet he's registering in the little hitbox. Did anybody just hear the sound that grenade make? It was the most cartoony grenade sound. It was just like total cartoon grenade sound. I'll play it again for you in a second, but listen to this. That is not. That is no place in the Star Wars game. It just sounds. Just. <laughs> I expect to hear that in a Saturday morning cartoon. That's ridiculous. And cartoon grenade for you. Oh well, thank you for that. Aim for the neck like a cougar and a small child. Think about it. I dare you. And it's gone down like a fat man on an escalator. I don't know what I'm talking about either. Hey look, you're gonna die. Shocking. Get it? Shocking? Cause he's a shock trooper. Shocking! Shocking! Please help me. This game is so great. I don't know how the dice battlefront game is going to go, but I hope that it's it, it, it's at least in the same ballpark as how great this game is, but I know that if that game fails, I can go right back to playing this, because this game is incredible, and that will never change no matter how many terrible sequels or reboots there are. But honestly, I think that the uh, the new DICE Battlefront game is actually going to be pretty good, and I, I, I know I'm going to play it, I don't know if it's going to be as good as this one. And as I said, I can go right back to this one if it's bad. Did you know that there was actually a third Battlefront game in the works made by Free Radical, I believe, but it was canceled when it was 99% done to like, I think it was a marketing issue or a management change. Seriously, 99% done. Years of work, millions of man hours just down the drain because people couldn't work together. That's sad, there could have been a Battlefront 3, and it looked fantastic, and you see some of the leaked footage. Makes me really wish that that was a thing. Anyway, this is just firing the hordes of people. So in this game, only like the shock troopers have jetpacks, but in the DICE Battlefront, it looks like I think everybody's going to have jetpacks, because if you look at gameplay video, um, I, it might be an upgradable perk or something, but all these different classes have jetpacks, and I... That's going to be fun for the new Battlefront game. I I honestly can't wait for the next Battlefront game. And cartoon grenade for you, and boom! Nice flip! We are winning this battle for once. We might get a victory because we are only 26 away from winning. So we just need a few more kills, and we will be the victors. 8 kills, 7 kills, 6 kills, 5, 4 kills, 3 kills, 2, 1 kill, and victory, come on, let me get it, yes, we got it, victory for us, I got the final kill, sweet, we finally got our first victory on Hoth map, the best map in Battlefront 2, 39 kills, 8 deaths, anyways, on to the next, I believe, possibly the final map. No, this is actually most Eisley Assault, which is probably the best game mode in the game, because it's Moss Eisley, and the Assault mode, you play as all the heroes or the villains in the franchise. So we're going to go as heroes and look at all the people we have. Got Eddie Money, Ayla Secure, Princess Leia, Mace Windu, Yoda, Luke, Obi-Wan, Chewbacca, and Han Solo. So this is... M Mace? D did you get bleached or something? You look a little strange, buddy. But this is... 
one of the best modes in the game because it's just all the heroes versus all the villains in one ultimate showdown and also one thing about this game mode or slash most Eisley, is the soundtrack is that song from the uh, from the bar in episode 4 I believe I thought I just killed you Django your body was right there a second ago how am I on fire who has fire I told you guys, no more Molotov cocktails. They're not actual cocktails. Oh, I killed my dad and my best friend at the same time. That's a bit awkward. We should just run away before we kill our sister, too. All right, let's go with the green, mean, mean, green, mean Jedi training machine. Yeah, who's also short. Don't mess with Yoda. He'll get a double kill. Oh, we have the epic title music playing in the background from the opening crawl. Man, this this is such a great game mode. And the music especially is great. Come on, Darth Maul, that's a bit unfair. You're bullying me because I'm different. But we both died in the end, so it's fine. Bum, bum, bum. I'm the only one? Okay. <laughs> And guess who? You killed me, Darth, so I'll kill you. I'm sorry, former self. Oh, dang it, I'm dead. Die, Christopher Lee, die. Wait. Lightsaber throw, honestly the most overpowered thing in the game. Seriously. That should have been nerfed, but I'm so glad it wasn't. Well, Darth, I suppose... I have to let you kill me if we're gonna be canon here, but honestly, I think that I- Oh, wait, come on. Never mind, we're gonna stay canon. You kill Liam Neeson, and for that you shall die! Leia, you're a bystander, you may die as well, but oh well. Vengeance. You guys may recognize this song from LEGO Star Wars because this was playing all the time in the hub world. Oh man, LEGO Star Wars gives me such good memories as well. Man. I didn't want to get a hit with a case of the nostalgias, but this game made me. Thanks a lot. Stop killing Mace Windu, that's the Emperor's job! Super powerful Jedi Knight can only sprint for about five seconds. There are so many Sith people here, it's like a Sith party. Because it's kind of a party. Ha, huh, your lightning powers are no match for my throwing a lightsaber powers. And now the soundtrack from Skyrim. Did you just... Are you blocking my lightsaber throw? You can do that? How do I do that? You were meant to fight the dark side, not join them. This song brought to you by Lil Wayne. Anakin, Luke, and Darth Vader all in one area. Something seems a bit off. Nothing but Star Wars, our Star Wars. We are two kills away from winning this battle once and for all. I think that this map is rigged so that the heroes always win, but that doesn't make it any less fun. Come on. Oh, I was so close to getting the last kill. Oh, well, Darth Vader will live another day. Anyways, next and final map. First, 48 kills, 17 deaths. Next and final map. Alright guys, welcome to Space Battles. One thing better about this game than the dice game, Space Battles. Ah, oh, there's so much flack in the air, it's like the opening to the Chronicles of Narnia movie. Why are there explosions in space? Because you should stop asking questions. Hey guys. Hey guys, don't mind me, I'm just gonna park in here and run inside your ship. Completely not suspicious at all, okay? I'm just gonna fire off a few shots. I'm like every hacker in every hacker movie ever. I'm in! That's a giant lightsaber. We're gonna take down the Sith from the inside out, with special help from Amy Poehler and Bill Hader. 
The shields are now offline, thanks to help from a certain somebody. I thought your auto turret defenses were just disabled. How come you're alive? I'm sorry, you glorious battle station, but I've got to do what I've got to do. Forgive me! Forgive me! Oh, come on! The auto turret killed me, but I took down the mainframe! Why do these bombs go down when there's no gravity in space? Because you should stop asking questions. Again. Kamikaze! We have the entirety of space, and we manage to run into each other? Great flying, stupid Imperial scum. This is a hammer. Is nobody going to question where that massive green beam is coming? <gasps> Did I just... I just killed a fighter with the Y-Wing cannon. I should go buy a lottery ticket because that's essentially impossible. How did I do that? Well, we've completely disabled their ship. Now what? We won something besides Hoth. Sorry, guys. That was Star Wars Battlefront 2. Possibly the greatest first-person shooter I've created. Definitely the greatest Star Wars game ever created. Except maybe... You could consider Knights of the Old Republic, but I haven't played that one. But anyways, guys, three kills, five deaths, but space battles are so fun, and I really hope that DICE changes their mind and puts them in the next Battlefront game. So there will be a Steam link to this game in the description below. It's about 10 bucks. You can get it on sale for about 250 and I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Go buy this game, and if you like the video, then make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome